Marvelous. Joined this morning by the lovely Sunjay. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I, I don't understand this at all. Uh, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've got some yogurt. I'm really uh, excited to eat it. It's got mango and strawberry in it. We got a deck uh, pulled up. Maybe we'll eat some ice, too. Uh, it's going to be delicious. Yeah, we're going to see how we do. It's a completely untested idea. Yeah! So we're going to do that. I've, I've been playing a little bit with... Uh, with have, you, have you played with Lamb Knife at all? No, uh, yeah, I played with it in... Um, in Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's Let fun them know that they may take our lives, but they never, they'll never they never take our fractors. Um, oh, man. I, I, I really miss... Uh, snowball, and I'm happy that there's a, a new shaper uh, fractor that I can play. Brings me joy. Morning, doll mm. fork. Ooh. All right. So, are, are we keeping? I don't know. Seems not terrible. We can get a magnum opus. We're on, are we on deep data mining or nah? We are. We are? Okay. Because we can get down deg deer um, with the SMC and then put down the, so we, we, we're sort of set up. I like this hand. Love that early morning potential unleashed. Yeah, and we can even put down a, um, I don't think we can, it's probably a house of knives, but I don't think we should go risk it. There's too much good stuff in our hand. I don't know. Next turn, we'll put Mopus down. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hey, wow. What a friendly uh, corporation over there. I think it's because they're doing uh, the viral weaponization. So that. Oh, I love it. Because it's one damage per, right? Yeah. Oh no no no! Uh, I mean, it, it's it's one big sum of damage equal to your hand. So you no, don't but to... but that's still good. Yeah yeah no it's great I like that that's really funny. Are we checking any of these? Um, we could just to keep them honest. Um, I feel excited about checking, like, one of the ones they recently installed after they found out that we're not into running stuff. Okay. Nice. Don't care about that mental health clinic. Show me Psychic Field. Oh, now oh, House so of Knives. We're so good at Netrunner. We're so good. Um, I don't think we need to run anymore. I think we, we ran that was a, for a good amount. Maybe they have another House of Knives there. Balder, you, de you definitely can't stand on my keyboard. You got you got to just relax, buddy. We don't have like a feedback filter in this deck, right? No, the deck did have a feedback filter. Oh, nice. But maybe not... we'll find it. So we have one one half of our combo, but yeah. we're probably not going to need it this game. Do I just put down the deck, the hyperdriver and just take a bunch of money next turn? Yeah. Or just take a super turn next turn? Yeah, the hyperdrivers are in here to be a super setup turn. Yeah, I like uh, value hyperdriver, and I don't play it very often. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really good if you're playing a magnum opus deck. Yeah. Because then we can do... Balder, you gotta just relax. Um, so, do we drop this and run that? We could. Do we need to make sure that it's on deck gear? Or that's kind of awkward. Yeah, let's drop it and run it. Why not? I mean, we can. We have scavenges. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, then why not? Worst thing it could be is a psychic field, and that's then disappointing, but fine. Oh, Matonga, that's fun. That's really expensive. Um. I mean, this is why why we're playing Mopus. Yeah. 
personalized portal. Whoa, yeah, I we'll, love what they're doing. We'll trash that. I'm into this. This is cool. I think if we're ever at a point where we don't really like what's in our hand, it seems really tempting to just let that trap fire. Though I'm sure they have plenty of them. That's, that's, that's an annoying. That, that feels like a that feels like a card you have three copies of. Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. All right. Let's just keep building. Oh, this is a this is a runner mill deck. They're trying to mill us out as a way of speeding up PU's damage. Yeah, I, I like the concept. All right, let's get some money. Um, and then next turn, we're going to... Oh, we to... don't have to ditch anything. Oh, right. Next turn, we're going to run into HQ and then use uh, Maxwell James if they try to advance anything. I really yeah, want to get I really want to get Degdeer down. We still have scavengers in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I guess we can SMC for the deck deer. Um, Realistically, but... we probably don't need um, two Magnum Opus in this deck. Like, I'm just thinking of, like, cutting slots for more money and more draw. Yeah, absolutely. All right. But I don't think we have a scavenge anywhere, which is problematic. Hey, hey. Wow, we're good at Netrunner. We're so good at Netrunner. Oh, Now, do we go for the deep data mining, or do we wait? Um, ah, yeah, let's do it. I think it's fine, too, yeah. We can get in. Also, Lamb's really annoying against Kamainu, if you're the corp. Um, it is, indeed. Because I think one of the cool things about this archetype they're doing is that Kamino is just a nightmare. Well, it's not so bad. Uh, something, something just res balled her. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we have enough money. Oh, they res a synth DNA uh, thingy, so that's fun. So we'll take a uh, one net damage from this. Two net damage functionally. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't lose Surfer. Eh, yeah. Okay, good. We do have scavenge, so if we lo lose any important program, that's also a thing we can do. Double celebrity gift. Wow, we're good. Nice. All right, so we're one avocado away from uh, winning, and they're almost assuredly on avocado, so that's nice. Yeah. This deck that I just made in like 20 seconds this morning is doing all right-ish. Yeah. Um, how are we doing on the card count? They're drawing have, a lot of cards. So. We have 27. Oh, I meant, sorry. Uh, the, they are, they, they have 23 count. left in their hand, in their deck. And they're drawing through their deck really rapidly. Yeah, because we could just credit up to slam them again with another deep data mining. I think next turn. Wait till next yeah. turn so we're seeing completely fresh cards. Yeah, agree. Because I think... With a, a deck like this, we don't really want to be, be roped into the shell game if we can help it. Absolutely. Um, we have Deg Deer. And, Ooh, two eyes. Um, so I think what we're going to do is is we're going to modded out the Deg Deer. I love and it. And then we're going to put the other Surfer on it before we lose it. And we need... We don't have enough money to deep data mining here, so let's so just get more money. So we're just going to hit more money. Yep. Love it. And now there's nothing that can keep us out. No, because we can just ride whatever they have all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Right border. Right. Got to get that dot. Get them dollars. And this is one of the problems about a deck that just, you know, hopes to wait until the runner sits, you know, dies. Um, they haven't really been able to be extremely proactive while we've been just setting up a, some nice inevitability. Yeah, I mean, as we saw on stream... Oh, Anansi. Okay, so Ooh, fun. let's turn it into a barrier. Let's ride it down. 
Um, let's match the strength of Anansi and break any number of subroutines. I dig it. Yeah, the break any number of subroutines on Lamb solves so many problems that they have. Yeah. With really problematic ice. Yes. Hey. Oh, that's only six points. I was counting wrong. Yeah. All right, if, that's fine. Watch us get punitive here. That'd be funny. Um, they've shown a zero influence, right? So. Oh man, it's really hard to pull, uh, punitive people when you have two pull on aggro like that. Yeah, they're they're going for. They're going. They're trying to slow it down because they're gonna mill themselves out. Yeah. All right. So, do we think any of that's agendas? Do we care? Um, I think the answer to the second question is no. So uh, I want to get I want to get a couple more cards so that if they're yeah. on a, a Koma Inu, or not Koma Inu. Um, what's the word? Um, Philotic entanglement. Oh sure. We, we don't thinking. immediately die. Oh, good thinking. Did we uh, did we lose our feedback filter to the trash? We don't have a feedback filter. Oh, I had I one and I took it out. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, well, that all the better because uh, that means we can't lose it to uh, PML. Um, I'm loving these value hyperdrivers. Yeah, it's a little gross to have six programs installed and install a hyperdriver like nothing. Oh, we got these these demons, daemons. Is it da it's that daemon? That's how that's um, pronounced. I am not a computer guy. I don't know. Um, I did read about Degdeers, uh, cool cannibal demon ladies. I think the inclusion of the symbol symbol the single stim hack in this deck is also really good. Yeah. Because um, then when people are like, all right, I dragged him through the server. Yeah, Dayman, enemy of the Nightman. Master of karate and friendship for everyone. This is delicious. It's uh, yogurt with granola and mango and strawberry. Sorry for eating on stream. It's okay. I'm not chewing into the mic too much. No, it's okay. <laughs> Did he quit? Seems like a weird time to quit. Like, I feel like things are going badly, but not that badly. I'm much more badly than... Also, we're down to not that many cards. Uh, this is the best of uh, free music from uh, YouTube's archives that won't get my videos pulled for copyright infringement. I just want you to know that when I'm on stream with Dan, um, I'm not listening to his music, so um, usually if I'm watching the stream, um, I am. So this is a hardship that I'm enduring for you. Alright, so they All conceded, right, which is fair. Hey, let's go bother Okrond. Yeah! Okrond is light and good deck. Baldur, where are you going? He's just hugging my arm. Alright, doesn't look like he's there. He must have stepped away, so... I'm gonna go see Deadpool tonight. It's gonna be good. Oh, I've heard good things about it. Yeah. I think the best thing of recent memory about the new Deadpool is when Ryan Reynolds... Heard about what? What that guy's name? T.J. Miller or whatever that guy, who is the bartender who um, has recently been outed as like a red pillar, and he called it a bob threat on his ex girlfriend. He's like, yeah, he will no longer be affiliated with any project I do ever again. In what way was he affiliated to begin with? He's one of the co-stars. Oh. But they were already done filming. 
Ooh, Agon Fusion. That's kind of cool. All right. So what's our play here? I mean, obviously we're playing the gamble. Yeah. I think I want to draw one card. That's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, then I think we just um, we put down Bath. Actually, let's draw once more. Perfect. So we'll put down Bath because we'll get the immediate value from Bath at the next yeah, turn. I like that. Now the crappy thing is, is when you go tutor with SMC, it doesn't realize that you're gonna put it on Deg Deer. So like you have to like. Oh yeah, it's clumsy. Fake the credits. Um. Now we could um. Use the scab to save some money, but I don't think we should, right? Well, I think I think we should. Okay. So. We'll do that. All right, so we get an extra credit than what we. Get. Oh no, no, it gives. Give yeah, it. yeah, but we're not gonna get it when we reinstall it. All right. Nice, we're rich. Um, what do we think that upgrade is on R and D? I would say it's probably a um Monta grid. Yeah, I buy that. Especially Ooh. with a house yeah. of knife, knife. House of knife. Um. House of knife. Yeah. House of knives being played. All right. Then we should just like money up, right? I don't know. Yeah. House of Knives. All right, I gotta get the feedback filter back in. I guess so. Yeah. We also probably don't need the astrolabes at all. We could probably get by with just the Delias. Uh, yeah, that's true. I or just the astrolabes and no Delias. Yeah, I got the Delias before the astrolabe. Do we want to try to go get that? Um, I would leave that up to you. I guess we do have the nice Maxwell James to help us. Mm, I think we're going to be a little credit shy. I think we got to get let get let that one go. I think we okay. did not get out to fast enough of a start this time. Do we want to? Um, I think I'm going to just put down yeah. Astrolabe. I'm going nice. to hit this twice. This is a good thing to do against Magnum Opus Shaper. Just zoom. They do not have much money. No. Um, that's why uh, if we run that and then it is Mwanza Grid, we're going to end up getting them back into the game. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. We can at least lock them pretty good right now, which is nice. Yeah. But we can't just never run R&D again, so... I know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 need yeah. to, I need to find one of our interdictions. Ooh. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to stall necessarily, but we need interdiction, I would say. When, it would help. We can... Uh, yeah. One upgrade on each, I would say... 100% we are up against someone. Oh, wait, did I put a feedback filter back in? Oh, no, I just forgot that feedback filter is actually in this deck. Nice. So how wow, about... I'm so good at this game. I mean, I think you don't need to put a feedback filter in every deck. Like, you can play around that damage by just playing around it. But I think for a Magnum Opus deck, it makes a lot of sense to put in there. Cause... We're, we're, we're a combo deck. Yeah. Like, we're very specifically... We're very specifically about a certain set of cards uh, or a certain set of skills as, um, what's his face would say. Seems like they're, they've, they're back in the, ooh. Offer you can't refuse. Mm -hmm. Um, they can only activate one snare. Let's go. Okay. That feels bad. Yeah, I've been seeing Offer You Can't Refuse in these uh, Mwanza decks, and it is a uh, beautiful include. I really like it. There's the Mwanza. And we have enough credits to trash it, which is really nice. Hedge Fund. Trash Breach Dome. Trash Project Junebug. 
Trash that. Um, we That's lost fine. nanotech, but we weren't counting on that anyway. Hey, this wasn't even our turn. Alright, so let's draw. Let's get our value hyperdriver down and hit for three bucks. Yeah, value, now we dr can, uh... value driver. Yeah. Now we can DDM with uh, impunity, as they say. I don't know if impunity is the word I would use, but yeah. Im impunitive counter strike. Yeah. Uh, let's use that. Let's take clicks and just increase the threat level. Like it. Always nice to have uh, Beth giving you a click when you have a magnet of his deck. It just feels wonderful. We might want to try. <clears throat> we might want to try to get a single Citadel Sanctuary into this deck for meat damage. Yeah. It's a, it's a thought. I'm not saying that we necessarily have to do it. Now we do have five MU and Surfer's only one, right? Mm-hmm. So we can, if we need to, to like in order to threaten, we can get it down and scavenge it. Yeah. Uh, do we want to get more money before we slam uh, deep data mining, or...? I'm just drawing some cards. I wanted cool. to draw at least one card. Um, I fished what I wished without having hey, nice. to. So now the threat is real. Yeah. I suppose Agonfusion is a... Actually, Agonfusion is not a very good uh, counter to Surfer. Because the unrezzed ice, we just come back in. Yeah, the first res dice, we just ride it for the rest of the game. Alright, so we're going for it, right? We kind of have to, right? Yep, so uh, let's hit this once and let's go in. Alder, please, no claws. I guess the downside of this is that if they um, switch us over, then we're sort of... Actually, we have... Um... We have another land we can just overwrite. Yeah, that's wild. Or we can scavenge it. Or we can scavenge it. We got, we've got plays. Yeah, plays for days. All right, so we will avoid the net damage. Yeah. Because that's what we are about. We could also, actually, um, it's more Or do we want to just eat the net damage? Wait, wait, it's, yeah, it's more expensive to just break it with, it's cheaper to break it with feedback filter. Because it would cost us seven to, um, And it only costs us six to break with feedback filter. Feedback filter, the original breaker. Yep. What is that? Uh, creation and control? I believe so. Yeah. You got a little brain on it? Got that little brain. Nice. Ugh. I mean uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have to steal one eventually, right? Yeah, but we kinda wanted to steal the one over there and the store the We're gonna have to leave that one. Yeah. Alright, so now let's just go back into server one. This is a bit painful, because that probably isn't even an Obocata. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so we can surf that down, and... Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a bacterial reprogramming. We can go back oh, in. We can go back wild. in and get the other one. Oh, no, because they're going to back to your reprogramming. Oh, right. And then, so we're just going to hit money to be safe oh, and punitive. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, do we get to know what they do with their top card? Probably. Oh, but, oh they're rearranging. Oh, I don't know. I don't care to crack it. Yeah, Lemon Brick, this is doing better than I certainly thought it would, but I don't think we have enough test games yet to know if we're just getting a little fortunate on the setup or whether or not... I feel like, unlike a lot of the other decks that I've played with Wu, where I'm just basically using her for Link, I feel like this deck actually leverages her ability. Whereas I feel like a lot of the other decks that I've played... Um never really leveraged the ability. Do you know what I mean? 
This is the one downside of bacterial programming. It's too much thinking. Um, it, it is a lot of thinking. All right, let's just money up. Your opponent could take 10 years to figure out all the options, and I wouldn't say they were stalling. I would say they're just taking the time it need, they need to... No, absolutely. Uh, seven cards. Put them anywhere. Wild. Make a run on HQ. Whoa, no. No, you no can way. have that. Yeah, that's all yours, buddy. Um... The thing about these offers you can't refuse is that um, I'm pretty sure their agenda suite is uh, pro it's probably three bacterial, three avocado, um, two house of knives. So, all right. So huh. we we need there we go. That's exactly what I was like. We need all right. So let's knife um, into this remote. No, we can't. We can't, we can't ever knife anywhere that has on. So let's get rid of the I key so we can run R&D more easily. I like it. Force them to Are react. We, well, to... do we want to... Um... No, it's fine. No, what were you going to say? Well, was gonna... Oh, it's a little late now. That will be showing them the knife. Um, I was going to say, did we want to maybe um, set it up for a turn that we can also deep data mine in? That's true. But I don't think we need to. This is fine. Oh, we get a... No, no, no. We don't have to set it right now. Ooh, reverse infection, cool. Cutlery are a little, uh, clumsy. I mean, we can also deep, just deep data mine right now. We'll probably True. die to snares. We'll money. We could die to punitive or whatever. Yeah, so. Now, we haven't seen punitive, so... Um, but that doesn't mean it's not there, because we also haven't seen any influence, really. Yeah, we really haven't. Now, the nice thing is, is as long as we're sitting on fat stacks of cash, um, we're somewhat safe from sna their snare plan? Yeah. As good as... Um... Deep data mining into an NPR and is here. I'm sort of tempted to just if, uh, just tough. money up and eventually go into HQ. No, no. I mean, I still want to deep data mining, but I just feel like 12 is a nice amount of money. But what if we had? Oh money? yeah. I mean, we also yeah. have like complete remote camp. We didn't trash anything. We did. Knifed trashes it. Does knife trash it, or does do we trash it? Trash that barrier. Oh, okay. That's okay, we can do it automatically. Or we can, uh... What do they want to trash? Yeah, we can. We're probably gonna take our feedback filter? Which is fine. I don't know if we'd, you want to let them have it or let them do the damage. Interesting interaction. Um, I know that uh, a lot of the things with my knife and say cyberdelia and stuff are tough to automate because of the sort of wonky. So do we let them have it or do we just eat the damage? Uh, the feedback filter. Well, I kind of want to just let them have it. What do you think? We can just let them have it. All right, cool. We've still got a, a large number of hit points. Yeah. I still want to take a bunch of money. We can put down some, a card if you want uh, to not discard one, but yeah. All right. 
I think we deep data mine, but we do it with um, SMC, so we still have a full complement of cards. I like that. Oh, is there not one in the trash? Ah, I thought we did deep data mine. Oh well. Oh well. So let's draw one card. Let's deep mm -hmm. data mine. Another I key. Hopefully we'll just win off this. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. The really tough thing is if we see uh, Obokata, like, in the first access. <laughs> yeah, we'll take, take it. We're taking okay, it. Okay, yeah, let's take it. Good game. Wow, we're so good at Netrunner. We're nice. so good at Netrunner. Yeah, that was a little risky, but I think uh, <laughs> it makes sense to do. Um, well, because what are we going to do? Not take it and then still hit two snares and die? Like... Yeah. Yeah, I guess... If we were playing optimally, we could have drawn up once, so then we could take an Obakata and tank a snare. Uh, this is going a lot better than I anticipated. Yeah. Oh, we were going to get rid of something. Uh, we were going to get rid of the Delias. Oh, yeah. Which means uh, we don't really need the modded's. Um, I think the modded's are still kind of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Um, um uh, totally. We can get rid of the modded's. Um, we can probably get rid of one same old thing and then just get diesels in to speed the deck up a little bit. Yeah. One thing. Um, an, an, another engine that we could be considering for this deck is, and I, I wouldn't do this now just because it's a lot of uh, editing. Um, thinking about. The uh, fan site uh, shadow net kind of uh, deal, um, just as a sort of way to recur events and also as an economy package. Um, I don't think we should we should uh, mess with that right now because that would be more a work. Very, a very different deck. Yeah. Um, we won. We deep data mined and uh, hit 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 the stuff. We saw an avocado with the first access, and we still had four more accesses, and we bravely oh, soldiered sorry, on. Was, yeah, we bravely took the avocado. Another potential unleashed. Let's mulligan. Yeah. Get that feedback over. It's a cool hand. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh. Do you want to play around that being a viral weaponization? Mm -mm, do we? I don't know. Should we? Oh, crap. I like this plan of just getting the Magnum Opus down, because then um, we've got the most important cards out of our hand. We'll be sad if that's a viral weaponization, but it'll be okay. I don't think it is. I think it's a trap. Or an NGO. Yep. Nice. Beth and Mopus. With, Pretty good. With it, all things are possible. Yeah, eventually. House of Knives. Ooh. Okay. Hey! Hey, we won the game. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, we... Oh, we have our hyperdriver. We can... Because I feel like we're just a little behind right now. and Yeah, next three, time we're going to put the hyperdriver down. Yeah. No, the value hyperdrivers are like... Yeah, taking almost two turns in a row is pretty good. Yeah, turns out. We'll just take all the money.
Another House of Knives. Wow. Fourteen bucks, little man. Yeah. Alright, um But yeah, I mean That's we're setting up for our win condition, which is just slam deep data mining till we win. Yeah. It's nice to have those fourteen bucks, because they got twelve bucks worth of net damage on those uh house of knives. We got knives of our own, look at that. Ooh. Alright. We're now ready to run. Like it. We are quite rich. Yeah. Huh. All right. So do we want to go check that? I know. Oh. Fine. All right, good game, I guess. Thank you for panging out, despite you having two House of Knives and a set of board Yeah, I state. thought they were in okay shape. Um, but that is rough. Um, maybe it was like a shame concede where they forgot that um, Lamb can... I know sometimes if I make a play error, like, that's... Well, I guess I don't usually, but that's like a temptation. Like, Did you just say error. you don't usually make play errors? No, no, I don't usually uh, do what I was about to say. Um, you don't, you oh, don't, no, 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 no. Yeah, you yeah, don't shame quit. Let's go with that. I never make mistakes. Um, but if I were to make a mistake, um, you... I think you feel so bad uh, that that like I, I I would that you just are like oh, I just concede. I'm the I'm the worst. Um, the, I think the only I, time I've ever do that is sometime uh, a time when I trashed a clot off of someone's board state, and then I forgot it was in the trash, and they had oh, clone yeah, ship. Oh, yeah, sure. And I was just you like, well, I guess I just started playing this game. I just picked up my core set last week, and I... Uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah, don't know what, uh, what, what, uh, what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm yeah, excited I think that's a, that this idea is actually working. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean... Um, I think our uh, second opponent really gave us a run for the money, and our and, and our third opponent was also giving us a run for the mo our money. Because speaking of r runs ooh, ooh. for monies, yeah. Speaking of uh, going fast, this is, is going to be a good test of the deck. Yeah, I think we're going to keep this because it has deep data mining in it. Yeah. So if they don't armor R and D, we can just see if we can snatch a couple atlases and slow the deck down. Yeah, I dig that. Um, Cause like the new Titan can score other agendas, but it's significantly slower yeah. than Atlas's. One, one uh, thing we could try is just putting an SMC and hoping it scares them. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> um. Wow. All right, screw it. Deep data mining. Let's go. That's wild. I love it. Biotic labor, bailiff, nothing. Ooh, that's very bad for us. Now we have two credits. Well, RIP, they earned that. That's like, cool. Uh, I actually got beat at lunch yesterday by somebody who um, casting called a government takeover, and I just couldn't get in. And they kept uh, dedicate. They did uh, double dedication ceremony on it one turn, and then finished it the next turn. Nice. And I was just like, you got it. Like, Yeah. Was that the first agenda they scored, or uh, was that the game? That was the first agenda they scored. Nice, because then they have the Super Mopus. They can just click for three, click for three, click for three. Oh, what a joy. I'm uh, so into this. Uh, are they not going to score that? Because we can... Uh... Oh, no, I'm going to go get that. I'm going yeah. pun to punish them. Yeah, because we're only going to take, what, all the net damage? Yeah, no. And because we can draw, 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 and they can't double punitive at us. Yeah, no, that's clearly what we're doing. Or can they? Sheeta. Hmm, maybe they can double punitive at us. Yeah, they can. That's exciting. Yeah, I'll, yeah plan B, government takeover.
Nope, it doesn't look like they got it. No, nice. We are good at that. Aren't we? We're okay. I be. mean, I mean, it's early in the game. Like the chance that they have punitive, double punitive, is not as high. So if you're going to take a risk, now is the time to do it. And we only lost one dead deer, and we didn't lose any SMCs. Yeah. Or uh, not SMC, same old thing. So our plan is still largely intact. I am into what our opponent is doing, though. This is cool. Um, You're into it? Yeah, the City Works project is really interesting. Because um, I, do, I do like that um, dedica Dedication City Works is a really powerful Yeah, because it's just like, can you do anything about this? No? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but let's get this down, and then next turn we'll get Mopus down. Um, man, I wish we had another Deg Deer. Yeah, that's a rough part right now. Do we have enough money to... and enough SMCs to SMC for Deg Deer and SMC for Mopus? Or is that really stupid? No, we can do that. So let's go get Deg Deer. It might also be really stupid. Yeah, because now next turn we're ready. Yeah, we're going to be back in the money. Look at all these earlier Shitas. What a, it must be nice. Eh, I'm not concerned about it. Yeah. Oh, I'm just happy for them. I mean, because all we need is Lamb, and they're giving us just all fresh cards, and we're already at yeah. three points. So Yeah. Oh. I think, Dave, as yeah. much as I love indexing in Mad Dash, I love deep data mining for its ability to just be like, am I close to winning? Well, the game could just be over without a ton of thinking. Can I get into R&D one time? Then the game yeah. could be over. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Be nice for somebody to win worlds with uh, deep data mining because I feel like the art's really nice. Yeah. All right, we gotta get going. Yeah. Um All right. Now we can use deep data mining as expensive makers' eyes if we wanted to. Um, I'd, I'd really rather not. Yeah, I'd really rather not too. But that is a backup plan we have. If we're really panicking. Um, oh, we're out, oh, maybe the plan I had was stupid. The use both SMCs to get the stand. Uh, now we're drawing to two deg deers. All right. Ooh, cool. We're all right. All right, um, um, probably not going to happen. Uh, maybe the interdiction? I don't know. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's get rid of the Oh, oh actually, the, the second land. Yeah. All right. Next turn, we drop lamb and we deep data mine. Yeah, I love that. We got to go just, for it. Did they just advance City Works once? Yeah. Oh, that's great for us. That's going to chill in the rope for, for uh, two uh, turns. That's really nice. One of the things that's sometimes um, scary when you're playing, or uh, a, a thing that sometimes happens to me when I'm playing Corp against a runner that hasn't been running very much, I think I'm super rich, but I ha it's just because I haven't but you, been But you don't realize it's not that you're super rich. It's just yeah, that you just, haven't spent any money yet. Yeah. All right, let's go. It's expensive, but we'll do it. Yeah. Lamb is like a nice, warm security blanket. Hunter Seeker. Hard hitting news. Whoa. Project Atlas. Ricoco. Um, Alright, I guess we gotta just hit the buckos. Yeah. Um now we, we Thank need... God we have the SACCON down. 
Yeah. So now we either need money. We need cards and we need a little bit of money. Because we need to recur the deep data mining. Um, oh, this is tough. Because we probably only have one turn, right? Because they have the they... other atlas somewhere. There's a hunter seeker. Whatever. We could. Do we want to poke? Right, well, here, let's see what we draw. We could poke HQ. That's tough. Yeah, let's poke HQ. And hope to take an agenda off them. Because they probably have a fast advance tool at this point. I'm hoping that because so much of the game has gone by, they're also maybe just holding an agenda. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Nope. All that's right. Not, that's the opposite of an agenda. Now they already used one biotic, so yeah. If, if they're not holding biotic, nope, we're done. We tried real hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we were just a little bit too slow there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, the. So that we went three and we we went three and one. Yeah. I think we had kind of a slow start this time. I think the first turn, deep data mine set us back too much. Yeah, I think that's true. I think um, we, we read their oh, deck wrong, and um, they had a much lower in density than I anticipated. But I think the deck, it's got some legs to it. I just got to keep refining it. Sure. Yeah. I mean. It, I don't think it. I I think it's certainly not a dead concept, especially with a, like a lot of people off of Batty. Surfer gets a lot better. Yeah, I think the biggest clumsy thing about this deck is that um, our rig is a little bit convoluted, and um, so it, it, I have I, I would be surprised if this deck is going to be better than say like a less convoluted way to get into R and D, um, but. It's cool. I, well, I it's it's fun it's, to play it's it, it, it it's less about convoluted way to get into R and D. It's a way to get into R and D reliably while having like complete remote domination. Like yeah. this type of deck is just like I don't care what gear checks you have on R and D. All I need is this lamb and this surfer or on on that remote. All I need is this lamb and this surfer and money and I'm getting in. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to keep testing it. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. Um, but yeah. All right. Yeah. What, do you, what, do, what, what are you thinking? Um, what are the cards that you're looking forward to in the next pack? Oh, I'm so... Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just enjoying uh, playing Corp right now. I've really, I'm really just having a blast. Um, and on the runner side... Um, not a lot has uh, caught my interest. Um, I've been into Land and Knife. So that's kind of fun. Um, I know that um, Black Hat, you know, I, I really like Sunny, and Black Hat's going to um, certainly change Sunny deck building, and so that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I like. Do you think Sunny's the kind of nerd that when she is at home, at her work at home station, when she goes to play White Hat, she has like a like a, a white like costume cowboy hat that she puts on, and then when oh, she's no. gonna go play Black Hat, she puts on the other one. Absolutely not. She is very serious. She's when she's at work. Um, I'm sure she goofs around um, uh, with her kids, but no. The, the Black Hat card should have a picture of her playing with her kids, and she has a white hat on, and one of her kids has a black hat on, and they're like playing. Oh, that would be cute. They're playing cowboys. No, but I think that uh, Sunny um, probably, uh, you know, faces some bullshit about her not being personable enough when she's just doing her job right well. Um, and I think the reason she brought donuts into the office is so that people think um, that she's nice. Give, yeah, stop giving her shit. Yeah. Um, being yeah. being being nice in a professional mindset is uh, overrated anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think. Well, I think. I think uh, at her division, like, things are pretty fine. Like, I, I think uh, everybody's cool. But uh, maybe she's just, like, thinking about, like, the broader office culture. Like, I think her and Jackson Claire are fine. 
You know what I miss about old Sunny uh, DLR decks? What? Wait, I miss the... Sunny, the Sunny DLR deck? Yeah, the old one with Citadel Sanctuary, where you would um, uh, use Joshua B to get a tag. Mills, oh, right, right, right. right mill yeah. five times, because you had oh, Beth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, what do you miss about those horrible decks? The theme of it, where she's going to like some company, and it's just like, listen... Let me show you how vulnerable your servers are. All somebody has to do is get in one time and your servers compromise forever. Like yeah. the theme of that where it's just like all they need is one time. And then yeah. I'm... It's not bad. Yeah. No, I mean I, those decks were misery prisons, but like I like I I like the story that that told. Where it's just like, look at how vulnerable your servers are, and they're just, and them being idiots and not understanding how technology works, like most CEOs, they're just like, wow, however much it costs, like, because like that's what I always think about when she's hacking. She's not actually bringing down the corp. She's basically convincing them that they need a global sex security package. But yeah. anyway, um. Thank you so much, man, for taking time out of your morning to hang out with me and everybody oh, yeah. else as well. Go it's back to a really good book. I didn't mean to, to trash it. I was just doing a little joke. A little Scott goof. McLeod joke. Sorry, yeah. Scott McCloud, if you're watching. Um, yeah. But everybody, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out. If you don't already follow the channel, go ahead and follow up above. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And until yeah. we see you all again... Always be running. Bye.